scene here, everybody. We're at uh, Wiener and Still Champion in Evanston, Illinois. And we're going to be going inside right now and talking to their owner, Gus, about some of his famous and infamous delicious dishes. So follow me in. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Watch your step. There's a step there. All right. Oh. All right, I made it through. And uh, we're going into the uh, the kitchen right now where uh, Gus is going to teach us how to make some really good stuff. Can't wait. Here we go. All right, come that's what she said. <laughs> Gus. <laughs> hey, this is not uh, WGN, okay? So we can, get a, we can yeah. get away with a lot of stuff on this one. So watch this. Hey, f*** you! No, just, just not. We'll, we'll cut that out. We'll cut that out. <laughs> All right, and we are back here with Gus, and he is going to teach us how to... Fry some bacon. Fry some bacon. Now, Gus, is this like a, a traditional, like, you're Greek, I could tell. Yes, I'm Greek. Okay, now is this like a thing with uh, Greek people, or is this just something that you just came up with? No, actually, it's a uh, Texas thing that one of my customers, you know, brought the idea to me. So we figured, you know, it was crazy enough in my work, uh, fried some up, people liked it, so the rest is history. Okay, so it's a guy, some guy from Texas came up with this? Yes, we did not come up with it ourselves. Okay, cool. All right, let's see it. Gus is going to, we're going to learn how to, to uh, fry some bacon here, folks. All right. All right, now what kind of bacon do you use? Uh... Hickory, uh, it's uh, hickory smoked, bacon, some fat, some meat. That looks like a good piece of bacon. Good piece of bacon, yes. Okay. So we no. go uh, six per order. Okay. Uh, we make an egg wash with some eggs and some um, milk and a little bit of flour. All right. And then we put the um, bacon in. We got a little piece of there. All right. And then we want to... Um, Coat it. All right, just flip it around in there. And then we take our flour, uh, our seasoned flour mixture. Seasoned flour mixture, okay. Yeah, there's some, you know, some garlic powder, some onion powder. Okay. Some cumin, some other spices. Okay, just drop them in there. Just drop them in there. Shake it up. Shake it up. Can you put them all in at the same time? Uh, you can, but they might stick together and not coat. Okay, properly. okay. So, we go ahead and drop them in there. Make sure they're all. Covered. I'm just out of just out of curiosity about, on a per week basis, how many people uh, have to leave here and have a defibrillator. So then we coat it. All right, there we go. We saw and coat. Now we just put we it in the basket. Shake off the excess flour. Shake it off. Oh, you oh you know you put it right in the thing. Right into the flour. Right now it just fl it just floats kind of. Yeah, it's gonna float up to the top, okay. and then we're gonna uh, flip it over and make sure that it cooks evenly. All right. All right, we've got three. Yeah. Now, did, the first time you did this, was it a disaster, or did it go over pretty good? Uh, no, I actually went over pretty well. Uh, so it was a hit right up from the... So now, how long are we going to leave the bacon in the fryer for? It's going to cook for about a couple minutes. It doesn't take that long. All right, now, what do we got over here, Gus? So we got a hot sauce that uh, goes very well with it. Oh, uh, this is this stuff right here? Yeah, the hot sauce. Can I touch it? Yes, you can. Can I dip it? Touch okay. it. Touch it. Touch it. Mm. Oh, that's good. Holy crap. And then we got the Argentine sauce, which is a onion, garlic, parsley mix. That's delicious, too. And that goes very well on, on fries as well. Ah, damn, that's good. Holy so, crap. let's check on our bacon. I'm going to make love to those sauces right now. I'm going to make love to them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have intercourse with those sauces, Gus. Sexual intercourse with those sauces. <laughs> can, I, can I spin them around a little bit? Can I give it a shot? Give it a shot. All right, here we go. All right. Playing around with the deep fried bacon, folks. Here at Champion and Still Wiener in Evanston, Illinois. Yes, Wiener is still champion. Wiener is still champion. What did I say? Champion is still Wiener. Champion is still Wiener. Okay. Oh. All right, those are ready to come out. Oh, man. So there you go. Here we go with... Uh, Deep fried bacon at Wiener and Still Champion in Evanston, Illinois. One of Gus's premium uh, menu items. And folks, we're going to go devour this right now. And then we're going to learn how to do what, what's next. Fried chili, fried chili. We got fried chili, yes. We also got fried jalapeno chips if you want to learn how to make those. Fried jalapeno chips, fried chili. Everything here is delicious. I'm going to go eat these and we'll be right back after this. Don't go nowhere. And, uh, now, I know you're a favorite on Nick DeGiulio's show on WGN Radio. How did that, how did that happen? Uh, 
you know, I invited Nick to come down and he tried the food and he was hooked and he's been coming uh, ever since. Cool. And uh, you're going to be on his radio show from time to time? Yeah, yeah, pop up uh, normally during National uh, Corn Dog Day, which is in March, March Madness. National Corn Dog Day, what else? National Corn Dog Day. And if there's something happening like, uh, you know, National Bacon Day or anything kooky, uh, you know, I usually pop up and we talk about it. Okay, real fast, Gus, what are we doing right now? Basically, we are plating the uh, chili bombs. Chili bombs, okay. Yes, basically it comes with our somewhat famous fries, a cheese, a cheddar cheese sauce for dipping. Okay. And then uh, we just put the chili bombs right don't, on. Don't let that fall. Don't let that fall. No. Don't let that fall. That would be sacrilege. We're going to go sit down and we're going to devour the chili bombs, which is delicious fried chili, and uh, some chili fries and cheese fries. And um, if I if I um, am still in any shape to talk to you guys after this, then uh, we'll come back in a few minutes. If not, then it's been nice knowing you guys. I love you. Another famous dude that stopped by. Uh, we have uh, Guy Fieri here from the Food Food Network. Food Network, yes. Yeah. Now you told us a story that he actually showed up, but they didn't air it. Yeah, they you know they uh, filmed it, but they had some production problems. Uh, he was late and uh, couldn't change his flight and couldn't do some of the things that he does, like cook in the back or interview some of the customers. So it was a no go. All right, we're um, going to open up the chili bomb. Just to show you guys what's in it. Basically, uh, chili inside of a, a little um, kind of like corn fritter, I guess. And um, smells delicious. Mm. That is good. That is really good. It's a little bit hot when they pull it out of the fryer. But man, that is, that is so delicious. And we got all these dipping sauces for it too. Uh, spicy oli and really hot spicy ketchup and cheddar cheese and all kinds of stuff. So you know, Gus's fries are outstanding. We have a big fan over here. What's your name, sir? I'm Sal from Evanston. Sal from Evanston. Sal, tell us why you like the fries. What 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 got you going on the fries? Yeah, everybody in the office is totally addicted to them, and you know, people come here every day to get them. So I always get their leftovers. But you know, there's just something really great about them. You know, they're highly habit forming. Oh, yeah, definitely. How long have you been coming here, man? Uh, like about 10 years. Holy cow. What do we have here? Tell me about this thing. What is this? What is this? Why is that here? Taunting me. Yes, that is our uh, Texas Bean Burger. Calling my name. Which is a uh, playoff of a Texas Bean Burger. It's not quite authentic. Uh, an authentic one had, has Frito, has, uh, Frito chips. We you don't know, mess with that. Uh, basically, it's a patty that we top with a country fried, roof fried bean patty okay. and our fried jalapeno chips. Let me talk to it for a minute. Let me just talk to it for a minute. What's it called again? Texas Bean Burger. Hey, Texas Bean Burger, what's going on? Hmm? You think you're just going to sit there and look good all night? I don't think so. I think some fat guy is going to come in here and eat you. Yeah, I think that fat guy might be me. What do you think about that? Mm, there's nothing you can do about it. It looks a little too private. All right. How about this guy over here? What's uh, this guy? Are... Gus, what's this guy's name? That is our Hell on Earth burger. Okay. It's what, what one we got? very hot burger. Um, we have uh, chili garlic ketchup and spicy mustard. And we also add our homemade pepper relish, which mm -hmm. is very hot. We put it, we put a Beef patty on. Hang on, I just got to talk to it for a minute. Hey, hang on, and hold on a second. Hey there, Hell on Earth, Earth Burger. You look at me when I'm talking to you. I said, look at me. Respect me. Look at me. I said, look at me! Look at me! I'm going to eat you! All right, we are here with um, a very loyal customer of uh, <laughs> Gus's. And your name is, sir? Tom Keith. All right, Tom, and uh, you're obviously a, uh, a resident here in uh, Evanston. Uh, yeah, I live just a couple blocks down the street. Cool. And uh, now, how long have you been coming here to uh, Wiener and Still Champion? Oh, probably about five or six years, ever since Gus bought the place. Okay. And uh, am I to understand that you actually were the one who gave me the idea for the deep fried bacon? Well, you know how it works. We were sitting around late one night and just kind of talking about what's going on and 
uh, somehow the conversation got around to what could be the least healthy thing you could possibly make. And of course, everybody loves bacon, so we thought deep fried bacon. I love bacon. Everybody loves bacon. So, and, and you know, so I, I left that night and didn't think about it. And then, next thing I know, Gus is making deep fried bacon. And it turned out to be quite the fad, didn't it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And now he's doing the, the deep fried gyros and the, he's deep frying, I mean, he'll deep fry anything pretty much. That's that's pretty much what I'm trying, what I'm yeah, figuring out here. If you've got a, a grandmother that's kind of getting old, he'll put her in the deep fryer and, and you know. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Tom, you are a great man. Thank I, you for being part of the shoot. You don't know me very well, so, but <laughs> nevertheless, thank you. I will not tell anybody about the bodies buried in your backyard. Don't worry about it. They're in the basement. I'll cut that part out. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> All right, we are trying uh, the famous Dippin' Dog corn dog here with a little honey mustard sauce at uh, Wiener and Still Champion in Evanston. And this is going to be our last little thing that we try because uh, they're kicking us out because we've eaten about $5,000 worth of free food. So let's see how this is. Incredible. We want to thank Gus and his staff for having us here and uh, letting me act like a total jackass. My apologies to Guy Fieri and Nick DiGiulio, two very powerful Italian men that I do not want to piss off. Okay, once again, if you're in Evanston and you got the munchies and you are hungry, make sure you stop by Wiener and Still Champion. I'm Dempster, folks. Matt is signing off, and we will see you next time. Good night, everybody. Sure, Bob. Fried bacon. Do it again. 